Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time, time again, to take up another champion. And we're going all the way with this one. And I know you're surprised by the fact that I am taking up another champion so soon after a crazy grind. But if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave it in the comments below. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, how do you get there? My bad. So, of course, it's going to be Nimrod. I just grinded for this brother. Now, I thought about trolling y'all with someone else, but we're going to save that for tomorrow. But today is all about Nimrod. So Nimrod is the mutant killer. And I have seen some crazy fights with Nimrod, usually against mutants. And I was thinking, you know what? First of all, he's suicide friendly because he's immune. He's a robot. He's also a good Magneto counter. You know, Magneto can put the uh, armor break, but it won't make a difference to Nimrod. So he's actually a great counter. He's one of the few metal champions that can counter Magneto. All right. So loving that. There's, there's a, a few others. But where I see him being used in my toolkit, because of course, all these champions are tools. In my toolkit, I see him as mutant counters. So if I have a very difficult mutant, I can bring him in and do that fight. Now he's not awakened. And towards the end, we will look at his uh, signature ability. He doesn't need to be awakened, but his awakened ability is desirable. So I do want his ability awakened, but it wasn't going to stop me from ranking him up. Okay. So you see him just getting powered up, powered up. Um, love uh, all this uh, tech. Do you remember when I kept getting a bunch of tech resources and I had so many in the overflow and I didn't have any tech champion to use them on? Where was Nimrod then? But in any case, I now have two top tech champions, Nimrod and Warlock. I don't really include Ghost. She's awesome, and I love her. She's one of my favorites, but they serve different purposes. And I still tend to use my five-star Ghost till I can get some more SIG levels on Ghost, which... I won't be using any signature stones on her, but um, I, and I'm still going to be working on Warlock. I've already invested a lot of um, tech sig stones into Warlock, so even if I awaken Nimrod, I'm still going to uh, pump Warlock up until he is uh, 200, whenever that is. All right, so there we go. Nimrod, check, check, check him out. Check him out. Um, and let's take a look at his uh, final abilities here. Final uh, attributes. Check him out there. Good armor rating, block proficiency. He is tanky. He's quite tanky. Okay. And there is his signature ability. So you can look at it there. It is something I want, but... He doesn't absolutely need it. He's still going to be very good against mutants without being awakened. But when I can awaken him, that's going to be insane. All right. So uh, in a moment, we're going to go over to Realm of Legends and play around with uh, Winter Soldier. All right. So we'll be right back. All right. We're going to go into Realm of Legends and... Fight Winter Soldier for a little bit. I might try to uh, get to Wolverine. I'm very curious to see because, of course, Nimrod is the mutant killer. 
but we'll see. That might have to be in a later video. But one thing I wanted to note, when I looked at this um, picture right here, it looked like they were all holding hands. Does that, that look like that to you? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it looked like they're holding hands right here. Uh, anyway, uh, let me show you what I've done, why they're even there. So we've got the first synergy. That's what we're looking at. We are many. And for every Nimrod or Sentinel on the team, they get more attack. So that's all that I did was I just added more attack. Okay. Um, we also have this resistance is futile. Um, we've got new wave, of course, um, because it's Omega Sentinel. And I don't have any of those active. All right. Now, I don't know how best to use Nimrod. So we're going to just go in here. I know that his special two is crazy. So what I'm going to try and do first, I'm going to try to fire off a special one, then build up to a uh, special two and fire that off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go almost to a special two to make it just that much faster to get to the uh, special two. So like right here and that, boom. All right, so now I'm gonna build up to the special two. Hit him with it. Woo. Now mind you, that was not against a mutant. That damage right there was not against a mute. So let's go to his uh, special three. And then I'll just continue the fight doing a special one and two like I just did. But it seems to me that Nimrod is the mutant killer. Look at that, man. Special three looks crazy. Look at the damage. And I believe that uh, the more armor up he has, the more damage he does. Now, my Nimrod is not awakened. And I understand that um, he gains, it, it helps him ramp up more. Uh, quicker. Okay, so let's get to that special uh, two again. Got five armor ups. Woo! We even got a crit in there. Whoop. But I'm unstoppable, even though he managed to stun me. That's okay. Okay, so that uh, energy... Vulnerability is done. Here we go. Do it again. There we go. Energy vulnerability. Do another special two. Ooh. Mm. Look at that damage. That damage is crazy. And he's tanky. And this is probably not where you would use Nimrod, okay? Nimrod is the mutant killer. So I would bring Nimrod out when I have mutants to kill, okay? That's pretty much what I feel uh, his role in my roster would be, mutant killer. I've got Magneto, a metal champ killer, with the exception of a few, like Nimrod, but I like him, and I can't wait to get him awakened. Uh, let me see. Let's take a look real quick um, at his signature ability. Eradicate protocol grants unblockable special attacks and increases the potency and duration of special attack effects. So it's just going to make him that much better. And he's also got a lot of these um, 
protocols, which I was completely ignoring in that fight. Okay. He's got this Titan protocol, Blitz protocol. I wasn't paying attention to any of those. Okay. So I was not maximizing his damage or anything like that, but this was a introduction. Now I will later on make a video as I research more into Nimrod. Uh, I'll make a video on him and um, how I feel, you know, he's best used and, and maybe the best rotation, what you need to do with him. Uh, but for now, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Stay tuned for a little info on Nimrod at the end. Uh, but take care and you all have a blessed day.